Hey guys, good afternoon. Happy Father's Day. Um, I know some of you caught my message yesterday um, that God put in my heart about the necessity of having positive people and positive friends in your life. And before I went to sleep and I was praying, God started talking to me and he said, but wait, I want to talk to you about the dangers of having negative friends in your life, um, of having the wrong people in your circle. And my ears perked up and I said, okay, God, I want to hear about this. Uh, so I started looking around in the Bible um, and there were some verses that, that automatically came to my heart. Um, and God just started speaking to me very clearly. Um, in the Bible, it says, be not deceived. For bad company corrupts good character. Uh, I know we all have those parents who would say, birds of a feather flock together and um, show me your friends and I'll show you who you are, right? And then we all get offended like, no, I'm my own person. I'm my own character. My actions speak for themselves. Nobody can judge me by other people. I can only be judged by me. Um, and you know, that's just, it's not true. And have you ever been in the wrong place at the wrong time because you were with the wrong people and then something terrible happened and you were just like, oh my gosh, what just happened? How did I get myself into this? Uh, I'm going to tell you why. Because bad company corrupts good character. Um, sometimes in our lives um, as Christians or even as people, right, when God's elevating us, when we used to be something and now we're not, we used to be an alcoholic and now we're not, we used to do drugs and now we don't, we used to party and now we're not partiers, um, we used to, you know, be living a life of, you know, fun, fancy and free fornication and now we're not, um, he changes you, right, so when he's changing you in your Christian life or in your personal life, Sometimes he also has to change um, your friendships. And I know this hurts some people, right? And, and our friends get bothered or we get bothered and we're like, but we don't want to lose our friends. And uh, man, I I'm just here to tell you that when God elevates you, sometimes everything around you has to be elevated and changed too. Uh, it's got to be different. And it doesn't make you bougie. Um, it doesn't mean you think you're better than your friends. It doesn't mean you're being judgmental. Um, it solely means that you are being aware of traps, aware of downfalls, aware of things in your life that are no longer appropriate for you. Um, you know, I had some friends that I used to hang around with. Um, and, you know, I'm like, hey, guys, I, I don't smoke weed anymore. Uh, hey guys, I'm not a, a partier anymore. Hey, um, I ain't going to chase guys with you no more. That's just not who I am. But you know, hey, you want to hit me up for dinner and drinks? We can do that. You know, you want to go bowling? You want to do karaoke? You want to come over for a barbecue? You know, cool. But I'm just not who I used to be. Now, your friends who truly love you and who are your friends, um, they'll support that. I just want to let you know, guys, some some of your friends, they're not friends. They are people who enjoy doing the same thing as you. And when you no longer have that same thing in common, usually the friendship runs its course. Um, this could be a good thing. It doesn't even have to be a bad thing. Um, you used to play softball and now you don't. You used to play volleyball and now you don't. You used to, you know, go to the, um, you know, to, to the arts and crafts things and now you don't. Sometimes you'll find that when you end a certain thing, those friendships, those acquaintances run its course as well. Um, it's the same with friendships, right? When we used to be um, weed smokers, when we used to be, you know, partiers, when we used to be clubbers, when we used to be, um, you know, thieves, when we used to be liars, and now we no longer are, sometimes we'll find that those friends who were merely our friends because we had commonalities just no longer become our friends anymore. Uh, in the Bible, it says, uh, for what fellowship does righteousness have with unrighteousness, right? Sometimes um, elevation is necessary in our friendships, in our circles, in our activities, in our minds, in our thoughts. Uh, it also says, what communion have light with darkness, right? God made us to be 
set apart. He made us to be different. So as God starts to speak to us, as he starts to call us out, as he starts to change us, to renew our minds, to renew our hearts, um, to, there's just a normal separation that happens. So um, don't, I know it's hard to, you know, have to let go of some friends or have to let go of some some people. And maybe you don't even have to let go of them. You just have to pick and choose appropriate interactions with them. Uh, it says be in the world, but not of the world, right? And, um, and, and misery loves company. So, you know, sometimes God's changed you into a positive person, a happy person. And then you have that friend that's just always negative and complaining and chaotic and full of drama and it's bringing your spirit down it's bringing chaos to you uh, you know bad company corrupts good character these are these are things that are contagious spirits bad attitudes bad situations bad habits th these are contagious things and it's easy for us to backslide and fall back into bad habits so, you know, I just wanted to talk to you about the importance of, you know, your friends and being mindful um, when God elevates you, when he changes you. Um, and this is if you're a Christian or if you're not a Christian, right? Um, just be mindful of the friendships that you keep and the people who are around you. Um, because show me your friends and I'll, I'll show you who you are. And birds of a feather do flock together. Um, but that being said, I have friends from all walks of life, right? I'm not telling you, oh my gosh, you can't be friends with them because they are different. Um, somebody had to witness to me to get me out of my sin, right? Somebody had to, to show me what God's love looked like to get me to where I am today. Um, so I'm not telling you to, you know, don't be around anyone who's not like you. That That's not the point. When we are around people who aren't like us, um, our job is to, to shine, to be set apart, to be the difference, right? Hopefully they see the good in us and it changes them versus the bad in them changing us, right? God does not light um, a candle and put it under a bush. He puts it on top of a mountain to shine. We are supposed to shine. We are supposed to be the light in the world. We're supposed to be the difference, guys. So, you know, I encourage you, you know, be the change, be the change, be the light, um, be the hope. Uh, God is love. And that's what we should be displaying to people. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to talk to you about the dangers of negative uh, friendships and influences in your life. I hope this has blessed your heart. If you like it, share it, tell a friend. Um, and you know, that's it. Happy Father's Day. I love you all and God bless.